let's turn our attention back to the Apex Pro app. Now that you have the app downloaded, look for the Apex Pro icon on the home screen of your device and open the app. After accepting all the permissions and the liability waiver that will pop up the first time you open the app, we want to create a new user account. As of May 2021, the CrewView database and Apex Pro registration system is entirely new. So even if you have an existing CrewView username, you're going to need to create a new account. Let's tap Create New User and go through the registration process. Make sure to tap Register Now to create your new account. If you have an existing Apex Pro CrewView username, you'll see it appear at the top. For this example, I don't, so I'm going to create my username, Midpack Larry. You can use a password uh, that you use for other registrations, uh, maybe something that's easy to remember. Just make sure to write it down or save it somewhere. Right now, you're just entering it to create the password for the first time. Also, make sure to use an email address that you can access from this same device that you're using right now. You can actually open the app and follow along as we do this. Now tap Sign Up. Now check your email, and then you'll be able to sign back in to Apex Pro. Go to the email that you typed into the CrewView registration, and you'll see an email from Apex Pro CrewView. Click the, the lower link to confirm your email address. You should be familiar with this process from other apps that you've used. Once the browser opens and says you've successfully verified your email, you can return to the Apex Pro app, enter your password, and sign in to your new CrewView account. As of May 2021, there's all sorts of new, fun CrewView features that you'll now be able to access with your new account. That's it.